So, hello, people. How are you today? Hello, Nemi. How's everything? Can you hear me very well? Hello, Jessica, Lizette Campos. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so what did you remember about the last class? Something you remember? Yo no estuve, teacher. Hola. Clase. No estuve en la clase con sí. Ah, okay. So, okay, so it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, and what about you, Noemi? What do you remember about the last class? Don't think you remember. Foreign things and things. Mm -hmm. uh, present perfect, simple past. Yes. And present participle. Uh huh, participle. yes. Present participle, yes. Okay, present participle. Participle. Sería ah, past participle. Past participle for the present perfect. You use the past participle, yes? Okay, very good. Yes, past participle, excellent. excellent. Then, so we have a regular and irregular past participles, right? <clears throat> okay, so. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Miss. So I'm yeah. gonna, sh I'm gonna, today is the last day of the class, right? So I'm gonna show you, give me a take this. Okay, so. I have to optimize. So, can you help me to read uh, Noemi, the letter A, and me, in Miguel Angel, the letter B? Miguel Angel, let's go. Ah, Miguel Angel, the letter B. Uh, uh, donde dice, I'm going. Yes, the letter A. I'm going to eat with the boss tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Miguel Angel, and yellow. And yellow. I never eaten lunch with the boss. Yes, right. I I've never eaten eaten porque tenemos la entre las vocales eaten lunch with the boss. Okay, no, so no. you have to choose one of this one. And what you have to do, you have to change the information. For example, eat lunch with the boss. Lo va a cambiar por. Uh, the first sentence that you have in each of them, right? So you're going to choose one and you're going to change. You're going to change the information that you have. So you have a, I never eaten for the very past participle, right? For the very past participle. Okay. Esta era una tarea que le había dejado en tierra. Pero se me había olvidado revisar. Mm -hmm. okay. sí. <clears throat> yes, right. Okay, so you have a here, eat lunch with the bus. And also you have a more options. For example, here you have seeing out the White House, seeing out the Ritz Hotel, get a rise, right? And then, so you have a, the past participle of the birds, sun, swam, and garden, right? So do you have any question with vocabulary? Do you have questions with pronunciation or vocabulary so far about this exercise? Uh -huh. Tiene, do you have questions or no questions? No? No questions? Helicopter. Helicopter. Helicopter, yes. I am going to fly in a helicopter tomorrow. El tomorrow siempre, ¿verdad? Okay, I'm jealous. I never flown. Uh, <clears throat> I never flown in a helicopter. Right? In a helicopter. <clears throat> so this one tomorrow is always. You have to use it always. Tomorrow, right? Always. And I'm yellow. So I'm never I never always. <clears throat> and I'm going to siempre. Esa la va a dejar siempre. <clears throat> so you only have to change the sentence in green. <clears throat> the sentence in greens are the ones that you are going to change, right? Okay. So do you have a, so you have a fly in a helicopter. Okay, can you help me to read the options? The first three options, vamos a ver, uh, who? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, Mario's just listening today. It's okay, Mario. Thanks for letting us, for letting, letting them know. Letting them know. Okay, so, uh, okay, so Manuel Alexander, can you help me 
Can you help me to read the three options? The what is teaching? The three options: uh, fly in a helicopter. Okay. Uh, fly in a helicopter. See a Broadway show. Go on a cruise. Cruise. Go on a cruise, right? Go on a cruise, right? Okay, Elizabeth Pineda, the other three options, please. Can you help us? Sing at Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Are you available to talk? No. Okay, Ruth Abigail Caballero, can you tell us the other options? Hello, Ruth Abigail Caballero. Hello, hello. Okay, Jessica Lizette Campos, Campos. Can you read the options? Number four, number five, number six. <clears throat> hello, hello. Hello, people. Hello. Okay, Sing Jessica. at the White House. Uh huh. Swing. Is swing at the Riggs Hot Hotel. Hotel. Uh huh. Hotel. Hotel. <clears throat> Get a rise. Get a rise. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excellent. Very good. So what are you going to do? You're going to change the green sentences for the green options and the red, the red uh, very past participle for the red according with the option that you have chosen. So you're going to change <clears throat> the, uh, the red very past participle for the option, the correct option that you have chosen. Is clear what are you going to do? Is clear? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Nomi. Miguel, do you have any question? Any question, Miguel? No, no questions. No question. Okay, so right now is that 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 you are going to do that activity, right? <laughs> okay, so that activity is the one that you're gonna uh, do. Okay, uh, I don't know if someone has an example. This one was the homework from Tuesday, right? This one was the homework for Tuesday, I remember. Yes. Yes, right. Okay, Mr. Okay, Elizabeth Pineda. No problem. Okay. Okay. Who has an example? Uh -huh. Get a rice. What is the meaning of get a rice? So at your work, at your work when you are working and you get a rice is that you receive more money, right? Get a rice is more money of your salary. In your salary, more money. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to wait for you to tell me an example, please. So if you have any question, let me know, right? Let me know if you have any question. Do you have any question? Este teacher, esto es de la de antier, verdad? Esta tarea. The homework, yes. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, bueno, yo se supone que la hice, pero yo no le puse más complemento. Ah, no, no. Uh -huh. Only tomorrow, only tomorrow is the, because as you can see, lo que se repite arriba se repite abajo. Yes, le, le voy a dar un ejemplo a ver si si estoy bien. Okay, Noemi. I am going to see a Broadway show. Mm -hmm. I am jealous. I have never seen a Broadway show. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I have never seen a Broadway show. Yes, yes. Solo el tomorrow le faltó, creo. I am going. Oh, okay. I am going to see a Broadway show tomorrow. Uh -huh. Oh, I am gonna see a Broadway show tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Porque yo las hice todas. Ah, todas. 
Okay. The number six, ¿cómo le quedó la number six? Six is, I am going to get a race. Hmm? I'm in Jailus, going a race tomorrow. Huh? Yes. Okay. Okay, I am going to get a race tomorrow. I'm jealous. Um, I never or oh, I have never gotten a race. Uh, gotten a race, right? Uh -huh. Very good, Naomi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody else? Alguien más? Another example, please. Only Miguel, Manuel, or Jessica, Jessica said, right? Only Manuel, he said. Uh huh. Hmm? Okay. I don't know if Miguel has an example. Please. Hmm? Do you have an example? <clears throat> Uh, Miguel? Number one. Number one, okay. I never fly in helicopter. Uh -huh. mm, no, sería primero con la A. Sería I am going to fly in a helicopter tomorrow. I'm going uh -huh. to. Yes. To fly in a helicopter. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I'm um, jealous. I never flown in a helicopter, right? I'm jealous. I never flown in a helicopter. Very good, excellent. <clears throat> so, eh, I, entonces, lo de ver, so es fácil. Lo de lo que está subrayado de rojo lo van a dejar tal como igualito. Solo lo de verde lo van a cambiar por lo de verde. Y lo de rojo por lo de rojo. Mm -hmm. I am going to fly in a helicopter tomorrow. I'm jealous. I've never flown in a helicopter, right? A helicopter. Okay, very good. Thank you, Miguel. Another example. I don't know. Eh, Manuel Alexander or eh, Elizabeth or Jessica Lizette Campos. Yeah. Sería, I'm going to, to go on a cruise tomorrow. Cruise, uh -huh. I am yeah. going to, or I am going to go on a cruise tomorrow. Excellent, very good. I'm jealous. And I'm jealous. I never, I never gone, gone on a cruise. On a cruise. On a cruise, right? Excellent, very good. Thank you, Manuel Alexander. Excellent, very good. Okay, so we're going to pass to that activity, right? Are you must? Anybody else who wants to give your example? No, okay, so we're going to move to the next. So <clears throat> here we have a conversation. I send you this conversation to the WhatsApp group, but I'm going to resend it. Okay, <clears throat> Audrey, have you met Hannah? Have you met Hannah? No, I haven't. Hannah, I'd like you to meet Audrey. Uh, hi, Audrey, you look familiar. Have we met before? I don't think so. I don't think so. I know, last month you were at my sister Nicole's party, right? <clears throat> oh, that's right. How have you been? Okay, do you have questions with vocabulary? Have you, right? Have you, I'd like you to meet like you. Uh, you look familiar. Have we met before? I don't think so. This one is just a letter R. I don't think so. I don't think so. I know. Last time you were in my classroom. How, how have you been? Aquí se pone, ¿verdad? So, have you? Have you met? Have you met? Sí se, ve, sí se ve el PDF, ¿verdad? Can you see it? The PDF? Yes. Okay. So, have you? Have you met? Uh, no, I haven't. Hannah... I like you. I like you to meet. I don't think so. I don't. As a letter R, right? Have you been? How have you been? How have you been? Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Tiene preguntas? 
Questions, doubts, conversation model, with the conversation model. No questions. Okay, thank you, Noemi, for answering. So I'm not gonna send you today to the breakout rooms because you are not enough. So, okay, uh, let's see. Noemi, can you be the letter A? Uh, Manuel Alexander, can you be the letter B, please? Okay. Okay, Manuel, B. Okay. The same, okay. the same names. Audrey. Audrey, I, I, I have met Hannah. Have, have you met? Have you met? Have you, have you met Hannah? No, I haven't. Hannah, I like you meet Audrey. Hi, Audrey, you look familiar. Have we met before? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I know, last month you were at my sister Nicole's party. Oh, that's right. How have you been? I have been good, thank you so much. Okay, and you practice the conversation, uh, eh, Miguel and eh, Roberto Carlos. Okay. Miguel, letter A, Roberto Carlos, letter B. Ruth Abigail, can you talk? <clears throat> Roberto Carlos, can you talk? Roberto Carlos B, I think. Okay, Elizabeth Pineda, can you talk? Are you available to talk, Elizabeth? Espérenme, Miguel, que estos chicos no, talk, uh, they are not available, I think. So, hello. Hello, people. No, Miguel, que es menos miel. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a small Friday. It's a small Friday today. Today that is Thursday. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay, so practice with me, Miguel. Miguel A, and I am gonna be the letter B. Okay. Hmm? Audrey, have you met Hannah? No, I haven't. Hannah, I like you to meet Audrey. Hi, Audrey. Hi. You look. You look familiar. You look familiar. Uh, have you have have we met before? <clears throat> uh, I don't think so, right? I don't think so. I know. Last month you were at my sister Nicole's party. Oh, that's right. How have you been? How have you been? Como has estado, verdad? How have you been? How have you been? I like you to meet Audrey. Me gustaría <clears throat> que conocieras a Audrey, right? Okay, no more questions, right? No more questions about this? No. <clears throat> no. So, okay, thank you. Now in the contractions, you have a have met. I've met. Has met, he's met. Have not met, haven't met. Has not met, hasn't met, right? So and you have a this irregular verse, right? Okay, you have a, a this irregular verse. You have a be, el, the past is was, where. The past participle is been. Este es el que usamos en el pasado participio, ¿verdad? El past participle. Come, came, come. Mire, el con es el mismo en, en presente y en past participle. Do, did, done. Eat, ate, eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Go, went, gone. Had, had, had. Make, may, made. Meet, met, met. See, so seen, speak, spoke, spoken, take, took, taken, write, wrote, written, right? Okay, so um, <clears throat> we are going to move to this. I see, I sent you the camera. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so uh, okay, now we have uh, this exercise. Now, complete these conversations, use the present perfect and simple clause of the verse given. Ensure answers. Then practice with a partner, right? <clears throat> now, so uh, the first one, can you help me to read the first one? Uh, okay, so here, what do you think is the auxiliary that we have to complete? Huh? Have you ever? Yes, right, have you ever? Have you ever? Okay, excellent, very good. Have you ever? Y aquí el verbo en, en paréntesis sería Este no lo habíamos hecho, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? Sí, ayer lo hicimos, creo, sí, ayer. Sí, ¿verdad? Have you ever... Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ah, pues era este... 
Ah, ¿era cuál era? Este lo hicimos, el del foreign sin or since. Sí. Este es el que dejo de tarea. Ajá, ¿verdad? Para ahora. Sí. For and since, yes. Ajá, me había equivocado. Entonces, ok, so for and since, right? So remember that we have to use for or since. Mm -hmm. For or since. It depends according with the different expressions you have. For example, you have uh, the expression with four, two weeks, a few months, several years, a long time. And with since, you have a uh, since quarter to seven or 6.45, since last weekend, since 1997, since elementary school, right? So you're going to listen this part. Give me a second, please. Four and since. <clears throat> I look for the audio. Pero me acuerdo que sí se los había explicado, ¿verdad? Medio, el for y el since. Sí, sí, lo vimos ayer y llenamos las cosas y todo eso, sí, ya lo vimos. Lo envió al uh -huh. grupo también. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Thank Page you. Page 66, exercise 5, grammar focus. Ahí no da algo. Present perfect. Is this. Page 67, exercise 5, grammar focus. 4. And since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Okay, so you have over there. <clears throat> in this case, you have a, the expression for the word for and you have uh, the word since, right? Now, how long did you live in Thailand? So you have here two different ways to answer. So I lived there for two years. Yo viví allí por dos años. This one is an action that already finished. This one is an action that is already passed. You already complete. So that um, time, so in that case, you have already complete that uh, part of your life. So this that already has passed, okay? So that already has passed because I lived there for two years. It was wonderful, it says. So already passed. So you don't live there anymore. How long have you lived in Miami? So you have a, I've lived here since last year. I've lived here since last year, ¿verdad? Tenemos entonces que yo viví aquí desde el año pasado. I lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. So this means that the process, the period hasn't finished. The process, uh, it hasn't finished right now, right? So you are still living there. So you are still living there. So it's a period. Este no se los mandé. It's a period that hasn't finished because you live there. Entonces, en ese caso, es un periodo que no ha pasado, ¿verdad? Es un periodo que todavía, o sea, que usted vive allí. O sea, que no ha pasado. Ok, estaba buscando una imagen. Aquí está. Ah, sí, sí, se las expliqué. El for y el since. Ok, so, give me a second. I'm going to send it. So, yesterday I, tell, I told you that you have to, uh, also, you have uh, for some expressions, so you have a special expressions for for and since, right? For example, uh, give me a second, please. I am downloading this picture about a uh, for and since. Oh, it wasn't this one, it was this. Okay, so you have um, for and since, for is for a period of time that has already finished. Okay, as you can see here. For is a period of time that has that has already finished. Okay, let me, give me a second. I'm going to say this picture. Ahorita veo un cuadro negro, ¿verdad? Porque como estoy abriendo WhatsApp. ¿O no? Yes. Okay, so just give me a second, please. Now, can you give me an example using for? In one example, or in one example using since. Here we go. Give me a second. OK. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, it's charged. So look at these examples. Give me a second. Give me a second, please. Solo falta que me la haya abordado. So, uh, uh -huh. an example using for or an example using since, what it would be? I uh, hmm. So, an example using for or an example using since, people. For example, I have the very past participle. I have what? Here we go. Give me a few seconds. I need you to see this one. Okay, for example, this one is I have lived in my house for for a I have lived in my house for two months, right? Or for about three years, right? Okay, uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna share this one. Give me a second. You're sharing, okay, here we go. Now look at this, for and since, right? The pronunciation is since, not signs. Okay, for is like a period of time, right? So four days, it's a period of time that finished. Since plus the start of the period. From Monday, it starts from Monday. I started work, working here since Monday, right? For you have a, this expression, few years, five years, two months, about three years, less than three years, four days, an hour, a week, three minutes, for a long time. Para los años, utilizamos since. Look at this. Since 2002, since 1999, since January 2002, first, since May, para los meses, los días, los años, usamos since. Since her big break in 1997, since nine o'clock, también para la hora, since since twelve thirty since Christmas since I I got up, okay. So I don't know if you have questions about this. Do you have any question? Hello, Karen. Okay, here we go. No questions. Everything is clear as the map, as the map, as the orchara. Okay, so for Pan, este lo hicimos, verdad? Me acuerdo que sí lo hicimos. Pan was in Central America. A month last year is for or is since? Uh -huh. Is for or since? What do you say? For. A month last year. Since. Sorry, no le oigo. Since. Since. Hmm, for. Vamos. Central America for. For. For, for, for a month last year. For. Para for mí yes. sería for. ¿Por sí, qué? Sí. Pero ¿por qué? <risa> okay. ¿Pero ¿Por qué sería for y no since? Hay que dar una explicación. Ok, ¿por qué for? Porque si usted puede ver, ok, decíamos que for es con un periodo de tiempo que ya, ya terminó, ¿verdad? Ah. Entonces aquí lo voy a poner. Uh, a finished period. A finished period. Ok, y en cambio since is the starting the start of the period, the start of the period, Uy, start of the period, the start of the period. Now, Pan was in Central America for a month last year. Ella dice que estuvo, miren, esto es importante, estuvo, Pan estuvo, o sea, pero no nos dice si todavía está, pero dice last year, el año, el año pasado. O sea que no, es, nos da la idea de que ya terminó el periodo que estuvo allí, ¿verdad? Por eso sería for, because it's a finished period. Ok. Now, what about the number two? Eh, que, Miguel Ángel, can you read the number two, please? Pero es una respuesta, ¿verdad? Hello, Miguel Ángel. I've been a color. Students, almost four years. Hello? Almost four years, right? I have been a college student, okay, since or for almost four years. 
Since. Para los años que dijimos que íbamos a utilizar. Since. Since. ¿Seguros? No. Para los años, según la imagen que les mandé en WhatsApp, es for. Este es for. For almost four years, right? For almost four years. Okay. Recuerde que también hay expresiones que las tenemos que usar con uno y otras expresiones que son como excepciones, ¿verdad? Okay. Now, Hiroshi, number three. Uh, can you help me to read the number three, please? Oh, ¿Quién me ayuda a leer? Okay. Uh, Manuel Alexander Aviles, can you help me with the number three about Hiroshi? Hiroshi has been at work 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Con, con el tiempo, since, right? Con el tiempo, con la hora, vamos a utilizar since. Okay, very good. Number four, can you help me with the number four, please? Eh, Roberto Carlos, puede, can you talk? Okay, sa okay, Saúl Alejandro Alvarado, can you talk, Saúl? Hello, hello, Saúl. Okay, can you read the sentence? No the answer, only the sentence. Uh -huh. Hello, Saúl, Alejandro. Hello, hello. Okay, o Karen Elizabeth, Karen Elizabeth Cruz, can you read the number four? No sé si you are available to talk. Hello, hello. Me, teacher. Okay, Jessica Lizette Campos. I, I haven't, haven't gone. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. For a long time. Okay, for a long time. Do you agree that is for people? Okay, for a long time? Yes. Okay, now number five. Uh, Noemi, can you help me with the number five? Josh lived. Just lived in Venezuela two years as a kid. As a kid. So this one, it says two years as a kid. Entonces dice que vivió. Entonces sí. nos, la, nos da la idea de que ya culminó ese periodo, ¿verdad? Porque dice, Josh lived in Paz, in Venezuela, two years as a kid. Okay? So he lived, no anymore, right? So is For, for or since? Uh -huh. Since. Since, you know, Josh lived in Venezuela since two years as a kid. For. Uh -huh. Since years. Pero ya terminó el periodo, o sea que sería four, four. ¿verdad? Four. four. Four porque ya terminó ese periodo. En cambio, since, como les decía, es el comienzo de un, de un periodo. En cambio, four es la terminación que ya, ya, ya pasó ese periodo. Now, my parents have been on vacation for or since Monday. The science. Since. Since. Since, since, right? Since. Excellent, very good. Since Monday, Natalie was engaged to Nani. Ya pasó porque dice que eh, Natalie estuvo eh, engaged es cuando estuvo cuando se andan de novios cuando le propone el matrimonio le, le da el anillo y andan de novios engaged. Four. Ajá, four six months porque ya pasó, verdad? Y ahora ya están casados. Or, di or divorce. Now, Pat and Valeria have been friends. Uh -huh. For or since? Since. ¿Por qué? Porque aún son amigas. Dice que Pat y Valeria han sido mejores amigas desde el bachillerato. O sea que siguen siendo amigas. No ha terminado el proceso. ¿Ok? Y no se han muerto. <ríe> ¿Ok? Supongamos. Supongamos que no se han muerto. Okay, Pat and Valeria have been friends since high school, right? Okay. Do you have any question about this? Esta es cuestión de que se practique, eh, se memorice estas expresiones. También la de la, la de la foto del WhatsApp. Questions or no questions? No? No questions? No. Now, here you have these questions. Okay, vamos a ver quién me ayuda. Here. Can you help me to read? Uh, Roberto Carlos o Miguel Ángel. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Miguel, hello. can you help me to read, please? 
Have you ever, uh, the, the primera dos, the first two questions. Have you ever cut your hair? Uh -huh. Cut. 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 Mm -hmm. Have you ever tasted blue cheese? Uh -huh. Yes. Have you ever tasted blue cheese, right? Blue cheese. Okay, the next one too, Noemi. Me ayuda a leerla. Next. Yes. Have you ever tried Korean food? Korean food. Have you ever lost your ID? Yes. Have you looked at uh, Unit 11 yet? Yes, right? So, ¿cómo respondemos cuando es la pregunta con have? <clears throat> have you? Uh -huh. Have you? Have you? Okay. ¿Cómo respondemos con es la, the short answer for have you? What is the short answer for have yes, you? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Excellent, Noemi. Yes, I have. And the negative is no. No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, no, I haven't, right? No, I haven't. Very good. So the negative, the contraction, no, I haven't, right? Okay. <clears throat> Do you have any question with vocabulary here? here? Any doubt with the questions? Have you ever tasted blue cheese? Blue cheese is uh, a cheese from France. Uh, it's a, a special cheese that is that it smells very, very, that it smells strange. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes, what happened? Yes, what do you say, sorry? ¿Qué dijo? No, no, que qué significa baja, pero eso exactamente, blue cheese y ya usted lo dijo. Ok, blue cheese es queso azul, es un queso que huele raro. Ah, queso azul, ¿Eh? sí, pero ¿Ah? pensé que era otro significado, pensé porque queso azul, o sea, algo raro. Ah, sí, yes, it's, it's the name of the cheese, así como sí. tenemos aquí el duro blandito. Ajá, sí, es cierto. Ajá, ok, that's nice, very good. Okay, so, um, have you ever cut your hair yourself? ¿Usted mismo se ha cortado el cabello? ¿Has tú alguna vez cortado tu cabello tú usted mismo? Have you ever cut your hair yourself? Yes, I have or no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't, okay. So, what about you? Uh, uh, Jessica Lisa Campos Campos, can you talk? No. Karen Elizabeth Maybe. Cruz, can you? Jessica said. Okay, yes, so yes. ask the question number one to Miguel. Have you ever tasted blue cheese? Uh -uh. Uh -huh, Miguel, can you answer? Vaya, aquí en vez de blue cheese, pongamos otro queso de aquí del Salvador. Man. Aquí en vez de Korean food, pongamos otra. Y aquí pongamos la unit. Right now, this is the unit what? The unit 10, right? The unit 10. Okay, so have you ever looked up the unit number uh, nine? So here, nine. Let me see. So here, number nine. So here, en vez de Korean, pongámosle... Mexican food. Y aquí en vez de blue cheese, ¿qué le podemos poner? Uh, paella, right? Have you ever tasted paella? Spain, Spain paella. Spanish. Spanish paella. Ok, so. Can you ask En la última, how you look, eh, ahí, ¿qué quiere decir? What the meaning of, en, es como cuando termine o alguna cosa de la escuela o algo así o como. Eh, no, es de las unidades del libro, de las unidades ah, del de, de libro, ajá, del libro. Ah, have okay. you looked at unit eh, 11 yet? ¿Ya has visto la unidad 11? ¿Ya has mirado la unidad 11 en in the book? Ok. Thank you. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Miguel Angel, can you ask one question to Manuel Alexander? One of these questions, please. Manuel Alexander? Manuel Alexander, are you available to talk, Manuel? Yes. Okay, Miguel, go ahead. Ask one question. Mm, yo la pregunta. Miguel, 
Miguel a Manuel. ¿Cuál si no al revés. Number one. La que quiera usted. Eh, have you ever tried Mexican food? Uh -huh. Have you ever tried Mexican food? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. With your friends or with your family? Or at work? Mm -hmm. Or where? Where did you try Mexican food? With my family. With my family. Okay, very good. Manuel Alexander, ask one question to Noemi, please. Noemi, have you ever lost your ID? You do it, yeah. right? Yes, I have. Really? When? The last year? This year? When the last did... year. The last year. The last oh, really? year. Okay, yes. sorry to hear that. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, uh, okay, Roberto Carlos, are you available to talk, Robert? <laughs> oh, hello, Robert. Are you available to talk, Robert? No. Okay, so it's okay. Uh, okay, Jessica, is it Campos, Campos? Yes. Okay, can you ask the question to uh, Karen Elizabeth? Can you talk, Karen? Can you talk? No? Karen, Karen? No. Okay, Jessica Elizabeth, ask the question to Miguel. Okay. Have you looked at the unit nine yet? Uh -huh. Have you looked at unit looked. nine yet? Yes, very good. Yes, I have. Yes, I have, right, okay. Do you remember the topic in the unit number nine, Miguel? I don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's okay, so it's okay. Thank you so much. Okay, right now we're gonna continue with this. So you have uh, this vocabulary. So, okay. So we have uh, here, find two phrases to go with each verb. So you have to find two phrases, two, two options that go with the verb eat. Okay, can you help me to read the verbs, please? Uh, and Jessica, me ayuda a leer los verbos. Mm -hmm. Can you help okay. me to read? Eat. Drink, buy, lose, write, wear. Wear, excellent, very good. Manuel Alexander, can you help me to read the first three options in the at the bottom of the page? So this one, these options, I mean this, this, these four options. Uh -huh. uh, uh, camel, uh, costume. Costume. Uh, costume, chicken feet, mm -hmm. herbal tea. Herbal tea, right? Now, uh, the other ones, Noemi, can you help me with the other four ones? Uh, it's coffee, your keys. Um, your keys, your keys. Your keys. Mm -hmm. uh, motor, 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 a motorcycle. A motorcycle. A motorcycle. Motorcycle. Octopus. Octopus, right? Okay, mm -hmm. the last ones. Can you help me to read the last ones? Eh, uh, I don't know who. Ruth Abigail Caballero, are you available to talk, Ruth? Hello, Ruth. Okay, so, so Miguel, can you help me to read the last four? Please. Hello, Miguel. Can you help me to read? Hello. You yes. Uh-huh. A, uh -huh. a sport car, a uniform. Okay. Oh, okay, oh. excellent, very good. So that's mm -hmm. nine. Okay, so do you have any question with vocabulary? Do you have any question with vocabulary so far? Yeah. Uh, octopus. Uh -huh. Octopus. Uh -huh. Octopus, yes, is that animal? It's the sea yeah. the sea animals. The sea animal. Yes, the octopus, okay. right? Okay, yeah. okay. She can fit. Uh, a costume. Uh, this plus. Ah, okay. Uh, 
Okay, no more questions? No. No, teacher. Okay. So right now you have to match. Uh, so you have to match uh, the expressions with the verbs, right? You have to match the expressions with the verb. For example, with it. What words can you use with it? For example. Chicken feet. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so chicken's feet. Chicken Aha, feet. Son, que son las, the chicken's feet, right? The feet, the feet, the feet, right? The chicken's feet. So yes. the chicken's feet, believe it or not, they are very good for for the bones, they are very, the Chinese and the Japanese people, they they eat a lot of chickens, chickens feet because for the wrinkles, uh -huh. for the wrinkles, because for the skin is very good, they say, because they have a cartilage. Yes, pero estábamos buscando con qué verbo iba cada... Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So chickens feet is with eat, ¿qué otro? Can you eat, can you eat a camel? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Octopus, yes, porque la gente se come el pulpo. <laughs> yes, octopus, yes, right? Octopus only. Yeah. Dice que solo dos, ¿verdad? Two phrases, dice, yeah. two phrases. Okay, yeah. what about drink? So, ice, which... Ice coffee. Uh-huh, so, with drink is ice coffee, uh-huh. Herbal, herbal tea. Herbal tea, yes, very good. Herbal tea. Only that one, right? Dry. What about dry? A truck. Dry a truck. Uh -huh. A motorcycle. No, creo que motorcycle iría con ride. Uh -huh. Dry. Entonces... Dry a sport car, yes. Dry uh, a sport car, yes. Yeah. And what about a loose? Something that you can lose. Your keys, right? Your keys. Huh? Your phone. What? Your phone, right? Your phone, you can lose it. Okay, now what about right? Ahora vamos con right. Huh? With right, which ones you can write with right? Uh, uniform. And right is montarse, montarse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, ah, can... sí, camel, camel. A camel, a yes, right, a camel. Uh -huh. sí, sí, a sí. motorcycle. Repeat, uh -huh. repeat. Motorcycle. A motorcycle. Uh -huh. A motorcycle. <laughs> motorcycle. And where, so you have a, a costume, un disfraz, usar un disfraz, you usar un uniforme, right? No, oh, okay. so. Well, yes. oh. Okay, can you help me another word for eat? For eating. Another word for eating? Um, pizza. Okay, pizza. Yes, very good for eat. What about for drink? For drinking? Coffee. Okay, coffee. Okay, yeah. coffee. Yes, coffee, orange juice, milk, whatever. And what about dry? Dry? Another word, another extra word for driving, for drive? Huh? So dry. Mm, what could you say for? Sorry, dry a bicycle, dry a bicycle. bike, dry a bicycle, dry a bike. Mm -hmm. uh, for loose, something else that you can lose, that you could lose. Earrings. Earrings. Uh huh. Your earrings, right? That they are in purse. You could lose your earrings. What about ride? Ride a camel. Ride a motorcycle. Hard. What else? A horse. Right, a horse. And the last one, wear. Wear a costume, wear a uniform. Wear a, wear a t shirt. Uh huh. Wear a t shirt. Right, t shirt, not teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, a t shirt. Huh? T -shirt. Not teacher. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, that's it. Uh, then you have a this, but this is about the paragraph that you have. So uh, we are going to come back to this to this book and we're gonna read the other conversation that we have here. 
Just give me a second, please. Just give me a second. Here you have. Welcome to Rio. Have you ever been here before? No, it's my first time. But yesterday I went to Sugar Love. Sugar Love is a place. It was really beautiful. That's great. Have you tried Fiojada? Yet. Fiojada? No, I haven't. What's that? It's a famous Brazilian dish. I think you like it. Okay, do you have a question with vocabulary so far or with the pronunciation? Uh, can you see can you see the conversation? Yes? Yeah, sugar love is this place. Look at this. This is sugar love in Rio de Janeiro. That is where you have a, the the Jesus Redeemer, the, the the Christ, Jesus Christ Redeemer, El Cristo Redentor. So and you have a, the sugar love that is in Janeiro, and you have a, the fua, fuayada, fuayada. Feu, feujuada. Feujuada, that is, this is a typical dish in Brazil. This is this these are beans. Feujuada, feujuada are, are is a typical dish in Brazil that is beans with with chorizo. Este es frijoles negros con chorizo. Ya se venció. Okay, so do you have questions so far? Los bases se vencieron. Okay. Do you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? No. No? No, teacher. Okay, so, okay, listen to the pronunciation one more time. Welcome to Rio. Have you ever been here before? No, it's my first time. But yesterday I went to Sugar Love. It was really beautiful. That's great. Have you tried Feuillada yet? Feuillada. No, I haven't. What's that? It's a famous Brazilian dish. I think you'll like it. you like it. The pronunciation of this one is you'll. La casa une con la it. You'll like it. Have you, right? Have you, have you ever been? Okay, my first time. This is the pronunciation, my first. Have you, aquí se une también. Great, the pronunciation is great, right? Have you, first, como que fuera first, great, have you, you'll like it. Okay, so can you practice the conversation, please? Uh, Miguel Ángel and Noemi Salazar. Miguel Ángel A. Miguel Ángel A and Noemi Letter B. Welcome to Rio. Have you ever been here before? No, it's my first time, but yesterday I, w I went to Sugar Lot. It was. It was really beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's great. Have you tried Feijoada yet? Feijoada? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feijoada? No, I haven't. What's that? Uh -huh. What's that? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a famous Brazilian dish. I think you like it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, excellent, very good. Okay, Brazilian dish, I think you, you like it, right? You like it. Okay, can you practice, please, the conversation? Manuel Alexander, Roberto Carlos, can you? Hi, Roberto Carlos, Roberto Carlos Cartagena. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, so uh, Manuel, letter A, Roberto Carlos Cartagena, B. Okay. Welcome to Rio. Have you ever been here before? No, it's my first time. By yesterday, I went to Sugarloaf. It was really beautiful. That's great. Have you tried Feyoada yet? Feyoada? No, I haven't. What's that? It's a famous Brazilian dish. I think you'll like it. You'll like it, right? Excellent, very good. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Manuel. So this one is, esta, but, es como una A, ¿verdad? Y esta es great, great. Ok, ¿hay alguien más que quiera practicar la conversación? Great. To practice the conversation. Or we can pass to the other activity. Ok, so I'm going to say, I want to send you the screenshot of the conversation. Ah, oh, creo que ya está ahí. Déjenme ver. Just let me check it out. If you already have this conversation, <laughs> 
que creo que en el montón de imágenes que una vez les mandé, creo que allí iba. But I'm not really sure. Okay, welcome to you. Have you ever been here? Ah, aquí está. Okay, very good. That's nice. So I'm going to send it to you. Okay, and then so here, as you can see here, we have a yet and we have a already, right? Already and yet. So this one's this words for already and yet. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so these words that you have uh, for already and yet are according with. Uh, so already significa ya, y yet puede ser uh, yet, puede ser ya o aún. Already you're going to use it in positive and questions. Already, este already lo vamos a utilizar en oraciones positivas y preguntas. Oraciones positivas y preguntas. Y yet lo vamos a utilizar también en preguntas, pero lo, también lo podemos utilizar, lo, lo debemos de utilizar en oraciones negativas. Entonces, este positiva, este negativa y ambas en preguntas. ¿Está claro? Ambas pueden ir en preguntas, pero este va a ser en positives, este negatives, en this one, eh, positives. Oops. Positivas. Positives. <ríe> positiva, negativa. Mm -hmm. is, is clear? Yes? So, for example, here question, look at this. Have you to Urquito yet? Porque es una pregunta, usamos yet, ¿verdad? Y el yet siempre, casi siempre va al final. I already tried sushi. I already tried sushi. In affirmative statements, use yet in negative statements, right? Use yet in negative statements. Already in affirmative statements. Usamos yet and already in questions, both in questions about recent experiences. For example, has she already tried Korean barbecue? I haven't tried sashimi yet. Negative, okay? So, um, yes. And then you have uh, this vocabulary. So, climb Mount, Mount, Mount Fuji. Climb, climb Mount Fuji. Go sightseeing in New York, sightseeing in New York. Go to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Go to the top of Eiffel Tower. Try Korean food, try Mexican food. Taste uh, a different food. Take a tour of the, tour of the Tower of London. Take pictures of the Great Wall, La Gran Muralla China, right? Go sightseeing is visitar los puntos de interés, los puntos turísticos de una, de una ciudad. Ese es sightseeing, es de ir de turista a los puntos de, eh, turísticos más importantes de una ciudad. Uh -huh. Go sightseeing in New York. Ok, so do you have more questions so far? Do you have questions? Or no questions. Hello, hello. No questions. No questions, ok. So, uh, bueno, pues agradecerles mucho por su paciencia y este, bueno, agradecerles también de que. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Se unieron a las clases. Bueno, al menos este día este, faltaron unos, pero se entiende, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, ¿cómo se llama? Muchas gracias por haberse unido eh, todos los días de clases, ¿verdad? Ya en estos, ya solo quedan dos minutos. Y este, bueno, pues espero que el, ahorita este, <coughs> las clases de Insafor están pasando por una transición. En el otro grupo me preguntaban de qué había pasado, que por qué no les habían enviado, ¿cómo se llama? Este, como la ficha virtual de inscripción. Eh, solo comentarles de que eh, eh, al parecer esa forma será absorbido por una empresa más grande. Entonces es de tener quizás paciencia y esperar con fe de que este, las clases sigan ¿verdad? el otro año. Entonces, ¿cómo se llama? Um, como eh, inglés corporativo ya tiene sus números. Entonces, este, allí les estaríamos avisando a través de, los, a través de WhatsApp. Se les estaría avisando si usted quiere eh, seguir participando, ¿verdad? Por el momento no han dicho nada, no hay algo así en concreto que se vaya a decir, ¿verdad? Hoy solo preguntaron si queríamos seguir para que les confirmáramos nada más. Ah, exacto, right. exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces, este... Ok, that's... Uh, ok, so, Gracias thank you so much. Aprendimos bastante con ustedes.